Good evening, and welcome to another action-packed episode of What I'm Drinking, a show that talks about what I'm drinking. Sometimes it's alcohol. Okay, most of the time it's alcohol. Sometimes it's other beverages, and that's pretty much what you get, what I'm drinking. You might notice if you've watched the show previously that I'm filming this from a different angle in the dining room. Usually there's a, 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 a painting of the Blarney Castle going on. It's still that my, my wife hates, but soon that will be gone. More to come. Just watch this, watch this space and the whole focus of the dining room is going to change. There's a reason I'm, I'm filming it from here is because I, I want to show you something. Um, last week we tried to get an antique liquor cabinet at a consignment store and we waited and when we went back to get it, it had sold. So we snoozed, we lost, we cried, we cried bitter tears, foul ball bitter tears. I saw that, that this dude in Cincinnati last night, Got dude hits a home run, psh, guy catches it in the bleachers, next guy at the plate, psh, another home run, he caught it again. Two, same guy, I am foul ball bitter, yes I am. So anyhow, but we were looking at Craigslist, or I was looking at Craigslist, and I saw that this guy, this guy was giving away something, it was an audio cabinet that he ref, kind of was using as a liquor cabinet, and I was like, that's not bad. So I sent the link to, to my wife, and she said, sure, why not, it was free. So we went to the guy's house, and he didn't take us out to the woods and shoot us which was very good because we're still here, she's still here, and we got this really cool liquor cabinet, which we're using as a liquor cabinet. And we got some Sandeman's Port, we got some nice Broker's Gin, we got Mellow Corn, you know about the Mellow Corn. We got the LeBlanc, which we're going to be doing in another week or two. We'll be making some cocktails, Brazilian cocktails. It's going to be really exciting. And some uh, pineapple vodka. And there's some you know, various knickknacks and glasses down there. And this is my gut and my new Mr. Met shirt, which I'm very excited about. I'm thrilled. But the focus on today's episode is a, another bottle that we got in New York when we went to Buffalo last month. Uh, my friend, he brought the case full of, of liquor. And this was one of them. And he told me about this a few months ago. And it's not available in Ohio, which is very disappointing. And this is it. And it's called, it's a whiskey, and it's a, called Black Bottle. And it's really good. It used to be in a black bottle. It was um, from a company uh, founded in the late, it's like 1879. And it was in an actual black bottle until World, World War I when uh, I guess they didn't have the supplies for the war effort. So it's been in this type of bottle. And then there was a fire and a bankruptcy, and the brand was re rebranded revived in around 1990 and it's been out ever since and this is a really interesting uh, blend of the seven malts that come from okay i'm going to need my my scottish wife to come over here and help me pronounce it again because i i don't my scottish is when it's hard sometimes it's not very good so is it Ile? Ile. Ile? yeah okay that's and it's from the seven distilleries on that island with uh, lag of ulin lafroy Bullmore, uh, Ardber, Ardbeg, and three others I'm not too sure of. Uh, Buni Hallen, and it's and it's the seven. Ile. Ile, Ile. You've confused me so much. You say Ile, I say Ile. It's whiskey. Let's just drink the shit. Okay, so <laughs> black bottle, and it's a really nice blend of the seven malts. The seven distilleries. It's a beautiful, it's a lighter color, and it's, I mean, it's really, it's quite lovely. It's got, it's got the beautiful nose, uh, it's got the, it's got a bit of the iodine, it's got a bit of the peak, it's got the, the peat, the smoke, the caramel, all of the really good things about, about those malts, and in, in a, in a glass. And it's a little, it's not an example or it's not full flavored. It's very light. It's very tasty. And you know, this was eighteen dollars a bottle, and it's it's worth about double the price, I think. And you know, I a couple 
Months ago, I had a glass of Johnny Walker Red, and it tasted like a freaking Band-Aid. I mean, it, 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 thank you. it was a new Band-Aid, which was good, but it, it just tasted like a freaking Band-Aid. It was terrible. But this, oh, and it smells good. You can taste a little bit of the sea. It's, it's got the caramel, iodine, peat, fun. It, I mean, it's a great whiskey for a really great price. Um, and, uh, and when my friend comes back here from Buffalo to visit, or when I go back to Buffalo, this is, this is better than mellow corn. And you know how good mellow corn is if you watched last, the last episode. My wife prefers mellow corn because she doesn't like whiskey. She is one of the few Scottish people living, dying, that ever existed that, that do not like whiskey. It's more for me. So this is um, Black Bottle Whiskey from Ile, Ile. Let's call the whole thing off. Cheers. Slanja. Mmm. It's delicious. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have more of this tonight. Oh yes, yes I will. So this is episode 16. Um, two weeks we'll be doing episode 17. We might be making some drinks. We might be drinking some beer. We might... We'll be here. Uh, unless the Mayan calendar was wrong. And There you go. So until next time, this is what I'm drinking.